Definitely need an egg. Uh, and drag a larva is okay. We don't really need that. Okay, this is uh, acceptable. Round one hand. I don't really want to use the Kairon, but if you can keep it for later. Maybe kick this. Okay. So I'm gonna use... Six cards. So this is not gonna be one of them. Ah, oh, fuck. Enter Galarva. Okay. I really like the changes uh, they've made on the interface side. They're not very noticeable. Bruce or Gal? Which one is better in this deck? I mean, I use Gals. I don't really like the the crones still. I think they are underpowered. Okay, guys. What do you guys think about the crones? Are they are they good enough? I think. Except for the one that consumes, they are okay. They're barely, barely acceptable. But the one that consumes is complete trash. So, yeah, that's a problem. Yes, dominance. I mean, Bruce triggered all that wish. Yeah, that's the advantage of Bruce, that it technically triggers. Uh, can I go up to 6? If I can play something that's a 6. That would be nice. Or maybe not even... Actually, he has a tactical advantage, so it's kind of pointless. Okay. I don't like the crones. I think they are a little weak. And they also have a additional problem that they have a weak early game and they are like more finisher more like finishers themselves. So they don't really fit with this deck because we wanna have a, a stronger early game. Okay, so I guess I want to target the egg. Okay. So I'm gonna get a night raid. Do I even have time to play the Marilorn? It doesn't look like I'm gonna have time. And the problem is that... Fuck. Okay. We have to eat the Plague Maid in the front. Then that will allow us to use the Bar Guest. Grant broken? Sir! You must justify your opinion! Why do you say that? Check the pig. Those are phantom pigs. Don't you guys know about the, 
the story of the pan phantom pigs? Okay, so we're gonna play a bar guest in the front. Which will give us enough to actually trigger the other bar guest, which is gonna just simply eat an egg. This is not the best. Also, I don't really wanna use up uh, Karen. Glass team coming. What if he pass? I have counter Glusty. Let's pass. We don't have to win with spamming rats at him. We can win some other way. I like card advantage. Lusty Glusty. It's gonna be a, the Glusty Wars. We have one as well, of course. This is actually a so much more fun way to play his deck. Like, why would you play the Glusty targets on your own board? That's lame. You wanna play the Glusty targets on your opponent's board. Right now, the Marilorn is not the best. Okay, pretty good. It's just passing. So we are playing the Noon Raid, because that's not how we're gonna win. All these boring players, they're like, No, you can't win rats. Win with rats. You gotta win some other way. You give him points to trick him into believing he's winning. Such a cruel strategy. Now he has a... Uh, Card disadvantage here. So. Okay. What are we giving? What are we drawing? So Paku is a 7. This is an 8. This is an 8-2. That's a good target. Well, I guess we can play a copy of the egg. Do we want to keep Jotun? I think he's going to play a bunch of crap. That's not going to help me too much. Uh, actually, this way, Matahari is guaranteed to draw Penitent, which will give us access to the Beast and Pogo. I guess we can give him an egg. Then we can keep targeting the egg. What we want to make a copy of with current here? Is it gonna be Gauss? Is it gonna be an egg? Maybe it should be Gauss. Okay. We'll play Kikimura Queen. Exactly. <laughs> On fire with the puns! Gals, of course, you can ha never have too many elves. <laughs> it's Vault Hunt! Excuse me!
Actually, let's do a buyer. This fair buyer is going to get some fry value. Can we play a naked Gauss? Should we j just play a basic Gauss? Music I, I don't think we can use the stomp on uh, on the egg. Maybe we're gonna use it on. Penitent. Oh shit! This is an 8? Oh fuck, I'm dumb. <laughs> For some reason I thought the Penitent is, uh, is an 8. It does trigger that fish two times, right? Yeah. Actually, we should have played the uh, one point egg before. Prepare for trouble. We can even double Glusty. But let's not consider that. Okay, let's go Harpy Egg. Let's play a bunch of Harpies. Rent your eggs? Fuck yeah. We're gonna have the greatest omelette. Okay, maybe not the greatest one. Kind of depends. Do you like whatever that is? It's just extra protein. Karen. Should we should we do glusty now? Is it glusty time? That's that's a lot of that's a lot of dudes. Should we glusty? I think that's glusty time. Glusty now. Okay. I guess Jotun is gonna be a little sad. But I guess he was insurance. Just in case. Whatever happens, we're good. Boom shakalaka, I don't know. Looks like he's Actually, maybe Jotun is gonna be happy too. If this keeps up. Probably not. Let's do a puggo. Maybe we can kill one of these suckers. Actually, yeah, that was kind of nice. A buyer went up. So Puggo was an 8. Playing Jotun in range road to BM. Oh 
shit. So many harpies. How do I feed them all? Oh my god. Big ass glusty time. But the big difference is that I ate his tokens. And he's gonna eat his own tokens. So that's not gonna be as big of a glusty. Is it, is it Jotun time? Let's do Jotun. Ha! We can't play him on the range row. We don't have enough space. Or three. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm not sure how, how the animation works. Okay. I'm, I'm a little cautious about how Gwent works because sometimes uh, the logic is, is, well, the logic is usually like destroy, then spawn. But sometimes it's spawn, then destroy for some fucking reason. And like no space, then destroy. I know this is not in, not true for everything, but sometimes this, this is true. And that's why I'm, uh, if I can help it, I play around that. GG.